Woo! Chad Arms, a.k.a. Chatty Bobby. All them, buddy. That's just tilty. There we go. Funko Pops are getting ridiculous. Um, we're here for a, fi finally for an update. Last update of 2018. Got a good stack of horror movies, 4K, some randoms. Um, and then I'll show you my Funko Pop pickups as well. I'll do it all in one update. I'm going to do the movies first, and then we'll do the Funko Pops after that. Uh, appreciate everybody's continued support on the channel. I know I'm doing a little bit of different stuff with the motivational type videos. I'm really enjoying those. Um, we're doing the streams myself, Friday the 14th, and the Viz. We're going to be doing more um, soon. And I am currently, this is, uh, uh, this is December the 30th that I'm, sure I'm filming this. Today and tomorrow, I'm wrapping. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of powering through a bunch of movies that I've needed to watch for 2018. I'm going to be doing a complete 2018 countdown of all the movies that I've seen um, this year. I've seen over a hundred, um, so it's going to be a very, very, very big video for me. I'm excited about it. And shout out to the boy CP. Um, well, he's going. He's going to really help me with this. I'm gonna. He's already uh, said he would help me edit it. Um, I just got to film it. So, CP, you are the man. Y'all be sure to subscribe to CP's channel below. Um, he's got his first, his bottom five movies of the year. He does a list every year where he counts down his movies that he's seen. He's seen 100 this year. He's got his bottom five that he uploaded first. And him and his wife, Emily, actually have the top 10 horror movies of the year. I think the first half they put on his channel second half they put on Emily's channel. So y'all be sure to subscribe to CP and uh, be sure to subscribe to Friday the 14th and the Viz. Um, Friday the 14th is almost at a thousand subs and Viz may put a video out one day. Who knows? So there, we got that done. Are we ready to show movies? Woo! Okay, let's see. I forgot how to do this. It's been so long. I'm not going to say been a while. Been a while. Can't. I mean, it's just, it has to happen. So I've got a good stack here. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Scream Factory pickups. I'm gonna be doing my Scream Factory collection as well. I just wanna wait till after the first of the year because there's about four more titles I need to get to completely catch up. Um, it's gonna be impossible to catch up completely because when I upload the video, it's gonna they're gonna keep putting stuff out. But I'm gonna be doing that soon, so stay tuned for that. Starting off the haul, I gave myself a birthday present. This came out the week of my birthday. And y'all know how much we love these movies. Well, the first two, three and four. Three's okay. Four is horrible. Bye -bye. Critters. This is the Critters collection. Um, really like the way they did these. It's got 2K scans of the original movies um, for Critters and Critters 2. It's got making of documentaries for all four films, theatrical trailers, and much more. That's really dope, and I, I really love the hard box, kind of like they did for the um, rec set. And it's just awesome how they, it got its own, like, they all got individual artwork. And, uh, and what's crazy is that you can do that artwork as well. I guess this is the original. This must be the newly commissioned. Maybe, I, I'm not even sure. Um, but yeah, like on Critters 1 here, we got... 2K scan, you got uh, They Bite, The Making of Critters, featuring interviews with actors D. Wallace, Scott Grimes, and more. Um, tons of stuff. New uh, for Brian, a tribute to screenwriter uh, Dominic Moir. I, Moir, I didn't say that right. Alternate ending and more. That's the first one. And then we've got Critters 2. This artwork's just great. I mean, these movies are guilty pleasures for sure for us and the fellas. Yeah, I mean, there's alternate artwork on each one of these, so that's really cool. Screen Factory did the damn thing. You know, a couple years ago when we first started watching these, we just hoped that they would come out on on uh, Screen Factory, and they did, and they did a great job with them. This has the main making of and a lot of features on those as well. And then we've got three. Look at that one. <laughs> so that's cool. This is part three. I like this artwork right here too. Just ridiculous. I mean, and then part four, which part four is when they go to space and it is terrible. So, oh, and shout out to the squad. We're going to be going down to 
Days of the Dead in uh, Atlanta in a month. Um, so hopefully I'll have, I'm gonna have more Funkos to put up there to make the wall bigger. But trying to go get Kevin Nash, Scott Hall's autograph. They're gonna be there. I'm gonna try to find something cool to get them to autograph, so. So moving on to the Scream Factory pickups. Before I show my collector's editions, I picked up this random IFC Midnight Scream Factory uh, release at CD Warehouse for five bucks. It's Robert uh, Rupert Evans and Michael Smiley in Tank 432. I haven't ever seen it. Like I said, it was five bucks. Anytime I see Scream Factory titles in like CD Warehouse or McKay's and they're really cheap, I'll pick them up for five bucks. I mean, this is probably just a whatever kind of movie. It's from 2016, but I'm, I'm trying to get as many of these as possible. So if I can find them for five bucks, I'll get them. I haven't watched that one yet, but so here we go. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five collector's editions to show you that I'm super hype about. And um, haven't even dug into any of these because I've been getting the 2018 stuff watched. First one is Candyman, the collector's edition. Super amazing release of this. There's the alternate artwork. I already switched it. You get the, uh, the theatrical cut and the unrated cut in here, which is awesome. Scream Factory doesn't do the DVD Blu-ray combos anymore, which, I mean, nobody ever watched the DVDs anyways. If you're buying Screen Factory titles, most likely so. But this is a this is a, a really dope set. You got um on disc one, which is the theatrical cut. You get a 2K scan. You get new audio commentary with Tony Todd and Bernard Rose. Another new commentary with authors Stephen Jones and Kim Newman. A third commentary with Clive Barker. That's an older one. Um, Sweets to the Sweet, the Candyman myth, uh, Mythos. Um, and a couple other like trailers, TV spots. Then on disc two, which is the unrated cut, you get a 2K scan, and you get a Be My Victim, an interview with Tony Todd, which is dope. Um, and it was always you, Helen, an interview with Virginia Madsen, um, interview with the production design, um, makeup effects, story to tell Clyde Barker's The Forbidden. So there's a lot of featurettes on this. There's tons of stuff on here. And everybody knows how the Scream Factory debacle has been going with the Nobody getting them anymore. Um, Best Buy, we you know I work for Best Buy. We don't get them anymore. New ones, you can still order the ones that came out before August, but after that we haven't gotten any of them. Target doesn't get them anymore. I heard in January FYE is not selling them anymore. So it's just going to be. I can still get them on Bull Moose, but other than Amazon, Bull Moose, and Scream Factory's website, I'm not really sure where else you can get them. So they're pretty expensive. But I go ahead and get the collector's editions because they're just going to do nothing but get more expensive. That's Candyman. Next up is Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. I've heard this is just dog shit. This came in, it came out December 11th, but I didn't get it till like the week before Christmas. And I didn't. we didn't get a chance to watch it yet this year, which is fine. I mean, but we'll have it for next year. We definitely watched the first one this year. So the fellas really liked that one. I had already seen it, but... I heard most of this, Skeg said this is terrible. Um, I heard most of it's just um, rehashings of the first one, but it's garbage day. I know that's one of the, the most epic things from it. You get a 2K scan of the uh, the print, a new audio commentary with the director, co-writer, um, Sleigh Bells Ring Again, the story of Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, and a bunch of other featurettes. So they, and the artwork's awesome. Did my, boy, my boy Joel Robinson did it. So hell yeah. Joel's the man. Picked this up from Bull Moose. I also got that from Bull Moose, too. Um, no, I got this from Amazon. I had an Amazon gift card um, for Christmas, and that was Sleepwalkers. Never heard, I mean, never seen it. Um, another one I heard isn't the greatest movie, but again, these Screen Factory Collector's Editions, it's good to have them, and then, you know, get them with the slip. And this slip cover is just amazing. It's one of the best, it's one of the better, like, newer artworks that they've done. Devin Whitehead did that one. This has got a new audio commentary with director Mick Garris and actors Matchin, Amick, and Brian Krause. You get new interviews with Mick Garris um, and a couple of the actors and new behind the scenes footage. Not a ton of stuff on it, but this looks like a really cool addition. Um, and that slip, again, that slip cover is just awesome. So that's Sleepwalkers. And I finally picked this up. It, it got down to like $27 on Amazon for a day. And I finally picked it up. That's Creep Show. This is forty dollars on Amazon. Anywhere you look, Scream Factory's website is thirty-five plus shipping. I luckily found it on Amazon. I've just been waiting it out, really. Um, you know, me and Skeggs went and saw it in theater at this one little horror movie 
uh, theater close to where we live. So I think they just showed the regular DVD or the Blu-ray of it, but there's a lot of cool features on it. I've already watched some of the features. It also comes with that awesome like book. Everybody's seen this already. I'm late to the game getting this one, but there's lots of cool stuff on it. And it's got that hard shell on it. You get a new 4K scan of the movie. Um, you get new commentary with Michael Gornick, a new terror in the Three Rivers, a roundtable discussion, um, which is really cool. I watched that. Colors of Creep Show, a look at the restoration of Creep Show with Michael Gornick. Uh, audio commentary with George Romero, which is an older one, and a lot more stuff. There's tons of features on this. If you're a collector of Scream Factory, you know this is a must get. I don't know why I didn't put collector's edition right there, but it is a collector's edition. Um, I'm pretty sure. I guess. I'm putting it with my collector's editions. So that's Creep Show. Last but not least on the Scream Factories, we picked up Urban Legend. This is one that I got off of um, Bull Moose. Bull Moose, they're $29.96. This was on sale on Amazon for like $17 bucks, and then they're, now they're completely sold out of it. Um, but Bull Moose had this for like $29.96. And with Bull Moose, if you pay, if you get $30, you don't pay any uh, shipping, and they don't charge you tax where I live. So. Um, and you get them bull, them BMPs, baby, them bull moose points that after so many, you can like get something half off. So trying to wait out exorcist to the heretic and get enough bull moose points where I can get it for half off. Cause that's, that's one I just do not want to really, I'm not looking forward to getting, but I'm collector's edition sucker. So, um, really enjoyed this movie back in the day. I haven't watched it in years. Um, I'm going to get final, uh, urban legend. Is it final cut or whatever it's called? Um, I'm going to get that one too. I'm just waiting for it to get cheaper. It's not a um, collector's edition. Disc One's got a new audio commentary with the director and an audio commentary. Uh, they had two commentaries. One of them was a new one. But then Disc Two has a feature length documentary, which I heard is really, really good. I got a lot of the actors and actresses on it. Never before seen behind the scenes footage. A lot of cool stuff. So I'm glad that they put this out. That artwork's dope. Joel Robinson did it as well. He said when we saw him at the when we saw him at the horror convention we went to, he said they were keeping him busy this year for sure. I know he's doing the craft artwork. He did it. He did 10 to midnight. That's going to be coming out. So he's done, he's done a good amount of stuff and he's done two of the ones I showed you already. Um, he didn't do creep show though. <clears throat> I don't think. No, the CRP group did it. Next up, we're gonna get just get right into this. We're gonna zoom into the 4K pickups. First one is Sicario, Day of the Soldado. Um, love this movie. Watched it. I watched it in the theater with Ivy, and then watched it with Tony and Jordan a second time, and it was better the second time around. Love the first one. This one's a dope, dope sequel as well. This was ten bucks on Black Friday, um, so I picked that up for ten dollars. Couldn't beat that price. And the only thing I picked up on Black Friday was that and these three I'm about to show you. And this is uh, the, the Rambo trilogy. You got Rambo, you got well, First Blood. And then you got Rambo First Blood Part 2. And then you got Rambo 3. These were $7.99 a piece on Black Friday. I got those and sold out, uh, Sicario 2. That's the only thing I picked up on Black Friday. Because I'm just waiting these 4Ks out till they get cheaper and cheaper. Um, so, yeah. This is just a must own. Stallone's 4K, the Rambo trilogy. Now we just need Rocky on 4K. We'll be in, we'll be in there like swimmer, baby. <laughs> Moving it along, picked this up. Um, my mom loves this movie, but it, I watched it with her several months ago, and uh, I actually thought it was cool. I mean, I'm not really into these kind of movies, but it was like 13 bucks at Walmart. I sold the code for four. So Ben Helsing, um, Hugh Jackman, and Kate Beckinsale. It's kind of like a guilty pleasure, I guess. I don't know. I didn't think I would ever like this movie. Um, but when I watched it with her, um, I enjoyed it. So I'll take it. Once you know, 10 bucks after you sell the car, that ain't too bad. Picked up another one. This is an amazing movie. Um, it's up there towards the top, probably top 20 of what I've seen this year. That's Black Klansman. Didn't know what to feel about this movie when I saw the trailers for it. I was like, ah, I don't know if I want to see this. Um, Spike Lee did it. I'm a fan of only a couple of his movies. Mainly He Got Game. Um, but this movie was really good, man. John David Washington was awesome in it. Denzel's son. Um, so dope, man. 
and Jordan Peele produced it as well. I, I like that uh, that Us trailer that I saw that he's doing. It looks really crazy. Horror movie that's coming out in March, I think. Um, but definitely give this a watch. Um, I recommend it. The acting was great. Of course, it looks great on 4K. It's got a cool story behind it, and um, I enjoyed it, man. Black Klansman. And this next one is just one that had to be picked up. It's Evil Dead 2. They're finally starting to put out some of these older horror movies on 4K. And uh, they already have a, the first Evil Dead. So I went ahead and picked up Evil Dead 2. I think it was like $16 at Walmart. And the code sold for, I don't know, five bucks. Just a must get. Gotta love some Bruce Campbell. And this one I haven't watched yet. Obviously, it's still, it's still sealed. But I'm not going to get it in by the end of the year. But I heard it's just, I heard it's solid. I heard it's nothing great. That's Galveston. Um, this was another one that was like 16 bucks. This is one of those RLG, RLJ, RLJ Entertainment 4K releases. I really like the way they do the slip covers. They're like the matte slip covers, like they're with the like, I don't know, that's embossed letters or whatever. But I heard Ben Foster's performance in this is awesome. Um, Tony and Jordan liked them. Both of, it li both of them liked it, but they just didn't say it was nothing great. Um, so look forward to checking it out. It's Galveston. And the last 4K title I picked up is one that I'm a big fan of. That's the Meg. You know, me and Ivy saw it in the theater. Well, a bunch of us went and saw it. Well, Tony and Jordan went too. We all went as a group, yeah, uh, back in August. And um, wish it was R-rated, man. That's the only thing about this movie that kind of gets me is that they they could have went they could have went a little bit more ham with the with the the gore. But either way, it was fun. And this one was, oh, I got this at uh, McKay's, actually, for $14.95, and it was still sealed. So, dub, I got it for 7 bucks after I sold the code for it. So, can't beat that. And continuing things off, let's see, we'll show, yeah, okay. Well, let me just get this out the way. So, I was picking up uh, Christmas horror movies back, you know, in December and November. I found this at McKay's for 5 bucks at Santa's Slay. Uh, this movie's awful. But at least it's a fun, awful. Uh, it's worth keeping in the horror, like uh, Christmas horror collection. Um, Bill Goldberg's in it. He's playing Santa Claus. It's ridiculous. There's like a Zamboni scene. It's terrible. But it's definitely worth five bucks for just for the sheer ridiculousness of it. But um, moving along, we've got Mandy. Uh, this is another RLJ Entertainment release. I don't know why this didn't get a 4K. If they're putting out RLJ stuff on 4K, this would have looked awesome on 4K. It looked great on Blu-ray. The colors in it was great. It's a super weird movie. I mean, it's Nicolas Cage. It's kind of like, I don't know, man. That it, I, can't, I can't even explain this movie. He's psycho. Something happens to his wife. and it, 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 You'll just have to watch the trailer. And even when you watch the trailer, you're not going to know what you're going to see. It's very hard to explain, and I don't really want to explain it because I don't want to give anything away. It's just one that I think you need to watch to say you've watched it. Um, I was hoping it would be better than it actually was. I did enjoy it, but it's a real slow burn, man. And I'm cool with slow burns, but it just took a, it took a while to get cracking. It's two hours long. Um, it's a horror movie, but it's not all the way a horror movie. It, it's, but it's fun, though. And that slipcover is pretty dope. You can get it for like 10, 12 bucks. It's worth checking out. It's Mandy. Next up is one that people just shit all over this movie. And I didn't see it in the theaters. Jordan did. He said it was just okay. I didn't get, it wasn't in the theater hard in no time. They, they, they pulled it out. It was because it wasn't doing anything. And that's um, Mark Wahlberg and Mile 22. I thought this movie was fun, man. It was a fun, it was a fun ass action movie. A fat. You know, like, the editing was choppy as shit. I'll give you that. Editing was very choppy in it. There was part, they didn't utilize the, where is he at? This guy right here, I think he's from the Raid movies. They didn't utilize him near as good as they should have. I do agree with the people saying that. But overall, I thought it was a fun movie. Peter Berg, you know, they're kind of putting it in that battleship category. I don't think it's as bad as Battleship. But I thought it was cool, man. I didn't go in expecting, you know, Deepwater Horizon or Lone Survivor or Patriot's Day. You know what I'm saying? I went in expecting a cool action movie, and that's what I got. Ronda Rousey's in it. I mean, come on. Come on. And uh, what's her name from uh, Walking Dead? Yeah. 
I forgot her name because I quit watching Walking Dead years ago. Maggie, that's her name. Moving along. This is another one. This is the other movie I picked up on Black Friday. It, was, it wasn't 4K. This was $5.99, and that is Den of Thieves. I've just put this movie off all year long to the point where I forgot it came out this year, and then Jordan finally was like, you, you need to get this movie, dude. You still haven't watched it. And so I got it. I had the slip for it months ago, um, but $6 was a good price point on it. And this movie was badass, man. People are saying it's a rip off of Heat. I love Heat. It's definitely influenced by Heat, but it's still its own dope-ass movie. I thought every, all the actors did really good in it. Gerard Butler is a piece of shit in it, but he's awesome. Um, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Little, Little Ice Cube, did awesome in it. 50 Cent's good, as long as he doesn't talk much. We talked about that on the stream. Um, Pablo Schreiber, Schreiber, he was good in it, too. I'm guessing that's that guy. But it's a, it's a really cool like heist movie. Um, it's shot really, really cool. I enjoy the shit out of it. So, it's Den of Thieves. And last, well, not last. I've got three more after this. But last of like the new releases that I got. This movie I saw in the theater with Ivy. And I really enjoyed it then. I watched it a second time and I like it even more. It's, it's super, super, super good movie. That's Searching. Um, it's such a nerve shattering movie. Like the whole movie. You're just like... You can't sit still. You're like, you feel uneasy the whole time. I wouldn't say it puts you as bad off as like, um, what's the movie with, oh shit. I'm not going to remember it. I'm not going to remember it. Ah, the Hugh Jackman movie with Jake Gyllenhaal when the girl gets kidnapped. I'm not going to remember it. Until after I quit thinking it, it'll pop in my head. But Searching is awesome. Um, I definitely recommend y'all checking this one out. It's definitely in my in my top 20 at least of this year. I'm not going to spoil too much in my countdown. But it's, it's up there for sure. Um, now the whole movie, if you're one of those people that doesn't like... Um, if you're not a fan of... Movies that are like all done on like Skype or like like the unfriended movies and stuff like that. That's what this movie is. But that stuff's cool to me. I think that's fine. So definitely recommend you checking this one out. That's searching. Ah, sorry, sinuses. Next up, I'm ending off my Blu-ray portion with three of these uh, like these vintage slipcover editions that my boy Tone got me. Well, two of them my boy Tone got me for my birthday. And that's Young Guns, and uh, never seen it. So he told he, he he was been telling me and Jordan for months to get these, get these that you want. We'll love them. And uh, Jordan really liked it. I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to. I'm just trying to get all these 2018 movies done before I start anything else. Um, and that slipcover is really cool. So thanks Tony for that one. And then he picked me up Happy Birthday to Me. Never seen this one, but it's a cool. It's Mill Creek release, and these slipcovers are super super dope. So. Again, thanks, Tone, for that, brother. Appreciate it, man. And uh, look forward to these, checking these out. And last but not least, the Blu-ray portion. One of my favorite actors of all time, comedic actors at least, John Candy. I love this movie. I had it on DVD. As soon as it got announced this was coming out on Blu-ray, I sold the DVD to McKay's. And, uh, yeah, my buddy Joey uh, hooked me up with this from Facebook. And that is Who's Harry Crumb. He threw it in as a bonus when he sent me some pops. Um, and, uh, yeah, Who's Harry Crumb. It, uh, it's such a funny movie, man. Nobody ever talks about this movie from, um, from John Candy. They always talk about Great Outdoors or they talk about Uncle Buck, which I love. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, which I love. But Who's Harry Crumb is a sleeper, man. It's a sleeper. It's funny. It's, it's John Candy's just so great in it. He's just like this inept... Uh, um, private eye kind of yeah he's like a private eye and uh, he's just hilarious in it man and Annie Potts is in it she's so hot too um, but yeah definitely recommend you checking this out if you like old school comedies and that is Who's Harry Crumb and now I'm going to show you my portion of the Funko Pops baby the my bad, sorry about that. Prisoners, that's the movie I was thinking. I couldn't think of it. I, I don't draw a blank. 
the Hugh Jackman, Jay Gyllenhaal movie that makes you super uneasy. Prisoners. Freaking awesome movie. And I'm an idiot because I couldn't remember. So now we're going to show you the Funko Pops that I got. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I got nine punk Funko Pops to add to the collection. I, I kind of put the brakes on a little bit because I was getting ham sandwich with it. So now I'm just kind of scaling back a little bit. And I'm still getting them. I'm still collecting them. But I'm not just... Because I got those really quick. So... We're going to show you the WWE ones first. I don't watch WWE anymore. It's, the product's just not good anymore to me. Um, but it's just, that's the way it is with wrestling to me. So I'm still going to always collect uh, like WWE Funko Pops. And um, so we're going to show you these. The first one I got is a 2018 Summer Convention Limited Edition of Asuka. It's a really dope pop, man. Um, there's so many different variations of this one. I, I don't think this one's like a rare one or anything. I found it on eBay for like 6 $7.00. And it was in the box is in perfect shape, and that's a cool one to have. Any kind of exclusives are always good to have for the collection. So I got that one, and then the other one I went ahead and got it. It's been in it's been at Target every time I go in there, it's, and it, I'm a big fan of him. And I wanted to go ahead and have it. Kurt Angle. This is a pretty simple pop. He's just in his normal like his normal like wrestling outfit. Nothing like crazy. It'd been cool if they had like an old school one when he had you know when he had the the long hair and stuff. Or the well, the hair, but so I got him and Oscar from this set. And I got Mr. McMahon. I just need Sergeant Slaughter and Triple H on the back of that one. So that's the wrestling ones that I picked up, and then I got um, three South Park Funko Pops. You know, I'm a huge fan of that show. Um, first one I'm gonna show you. I picked up. I need to get. To, I need to get the part. His partner in crime. But I got Philip. You know, the Terrence and Philip uh, combo. I got Philip. I just need to get Terrence. I got this off eBay for like four dollars, five dollars. Um, so I'll get, I'll get Terrence soon. That way it'll match them up. And then I picked up this one off of eBay. Huge fan of this pop. This is really cool. And this is Cartman when he's like in the, uh, the cop attire there. It's really cool. Um, this one, you know, this one has got Chef, Kenny, uh, Human Kite, Tool Shed, Cartman, Mr. Hanky, and Randy Marsh on this. There's a lot of these, but that's a really cool pop, I thought. So I got that one. And my brother got me this for Christmas. Um, he's my favorite character on the show and that's Randy Marsh. He's ridiculous. Anything past like season eight, he is just ridiculous. And he's my favorite character, but he's my favorite thing about the show. Um, so I'm glad to get him. So I've got two of the, the seven on this series. So got uh, Randy and Cartman. I got Kenny too. I got Kenny. So I got three of them. So there's that one. And next up. I'm gonna show you an exclusive one that I got. I got this, it's a Target exclusive. It's the Kevin McAllister with the little toboggan. It comes with the toboggan in that big box, but I mean, I'm not, I, had to, I just wanted it for the pop. That toboggan doesn't fit my head and I would never wear it. Um, but this, this pop's really cool. And I know that it'll be one of those that goes out of print probably, or whatever they call it. I've already got these three. You know, I got the Kevin and then I got the Wet Bandits tube hack. So this will go good with the Home Alone collection, filled, keeping it complete there. And I'm ending things off video today with three Trading Places Funkos. I'm a big fan of that movie. It's one of my favorite Eddie Murphy movies. And uh, I've got them. After these three, I just need two more and I'll have all have the whole set. This first one is a Target exclusive, Louis Winthorpe the Third. But he's like, all, it's when he was all beaten up. His hair is messed up. He's got like a you know messed up eye and stuff. There's a bunch of these at my Target. Um, I ordered this off of eBay about a week before my targets got them. I paid about six dollars more than, but I, it was fine. I didn't. I don't ever know if my target's gonna get them. They didn't get the Wayne's World ones. If y'all uh, have any targets near you that got the exclusive Wayne's World pops, let me know. I may shoot you some money to get them for me. Um, I guess I could order them off the website though. But uh, yeah, that's the Lewis Winthorpe Target exclusive when he's beaten up. And then I picked up Santa, the Lewis, uh, Lewis, uh, yeah, yeah, Lewis Winthorpe Santa, which is really cool. I didn't know we was gonna get these in store. I got these in store at Target. It's the Santa when he's dressed up as Santa, which is really cool. He's got the, the long, long hair and all that. It's pretty dope. And then last but not least, I got the Eddie Murphy Special Agent Orange Funko Pop when he's on like the wheel, on like the cart or whatever, wheeling himself around. Um, this is just a really cool one too. I was glad to see these in store. They have the regular, and then all I need now is the Billy Ray Valentine and the Lewis Winthorpe, just the regular ones. 
which they have those. They had plenty of those at my Target, so I could wait them out. They're not going to go anywhere. But I wanted to get these three because those are the harder ones to find out of the set. So got the Trading Places. They'll go good with my Coming to America Funkos. And that's it. So that was my update. Sorry it took me so long to get things rolling on the update. I just kept waiting for these screen factories to come in. And then I was just kind of putting it off. I'm just so focused on getting these movies watched for 2018 to get my get my stuff together for that. I'm really excited about this video. It's gonna be it's gonna be a time consuming video to do, which is fine because I never do edit. I'm still not gonna edit this one. Uh, thanks to my buddy CP uh, to get you a gift card, brother, or something for helping me. Um, but I'm excited about it. I'm going to do my entire list like CP does it. Um, I should have taken Jordan's advice and did, had them in my order as I was watching them through the year. I didn't do that. So now I've got like 112 movies to like try to figure out and, it's, and the movie's going to grow. Probably going to be close to 120. But um, again, thank y'all for that. Be on the lookout for the Scream Factory Collection video coming soon, I promise. I'm not forgetting about y'all with that. Um, so yeah, y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for the support. Have a great, great, great rest of 2018, and here's to a good new year, baby. Woo!